Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art and I was busy in the kitchen taking care of something that I try to do every year which is getting, harvesting my herbs. I am harvesting and getting at least some for myself and my family and friends and I said to myself why am I not sharing this with my YouTube friends? It's Huckleberry Herbs and Art for a reason because I spend a good amount of time doing this stuff too and yes I do consider this artistic. Uh, and the best thing is that this grows right out of your garden or your yard or your little pot on the windowsill. So what is here is, I've already gone through this, this is thyme. And I, if I make spaghetti sauce or maybe some of you call it meat sauce or tomato sauce or gravy, um, I, I'm always using this. And the key is because it's dried that you really crunch it and I don't want to do so right now because I will waste all the oils that are in here that put the flavor into your cooking and I have jars of this stuff that I harvest from the little pots of thyme and things that I plant in the spring and they're perennial too by the way so if they don't have too rough of a winter you'll get them back year after year so I thought I would share now this is thyme and this is just about done um, this First of all, let me show you what I have here. I'll back up just for a second. It's just a box um, about two inches in depth and I use it, it came from like the gardening center when you buy plants and whatever. I use it to do a lot of this kind of work because it's very messy as far as getting it splattered all over the table, all over the rugs. I don't want to do that if I can and it helps you to contain and separate. And I will leave a link below to the how to harvest uh, and dry lavender because basically I use the same system for all of my other herbs. And uh, once they are dry, I take them to this box and I get to work on getting them ready to be used for cooking, for gifts, and if I'm selling them that year for, um, for sale. So let me, um, first of all, lemon thyme, which has a... a a gentle scent of lemon. It's delicious. I still use it in the spaghetti sauce because it doesn't overwhelm with lemon. And it's it's basically done the same way that the other herbs are. Um, I'm going to show you how I take off. Now, I'm not going to be picky, okay, because I've done this so many times. I know the first time I did it, I sat down and practically picked off every leaf. Oh, forget it. You never want to come back. <laughs> and um, I be careful, too, when you cut your your plants not to take all the green you shouldn't take more than like a third of the plant at a time and don't cut right down to the dirt uh, be gentle with your plants leave them a little something to catch some sunlight and to keep growing so that you can come back these were actually harvested in very early summer and now everything's ready to be cut again so that's one of the reasons I thought I better sit down and start reaping some of the benefits of the early part of the season and truthfully, I haven't done much this year because it has been so excruciatingly hot here in the Northeast that this is not one of my busiest years. That's why I haven't uploaded a lot of garden videos and stuff. But at any rate, let me get going on this so you're not bored listening to me for whatever amounts of minutes. So here is my bunch. And all I'm going to do, trying to keep it down low, is run my hands and to tell you the truth, the lemon thyme lets loose. Their leaves are slightly more oval and, I don't know, they just let loose easier. So as you can see, I'm starting to get a pile. And oh, the room is filling up with the lovely lemon and thyme scent. And uh, a lot of people buy these and put them in their kitchen windows and stuff. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't um, do it that way because I usually have so much that's ready to use and you might think oh but it's dried well as I said these are not like when you buy them in the store and it's not as perfect as when you buy it in the store either although I question the perfection because not that I can claim to have ever been in a um, herbal factory <laughs> where they're processing all of the dried herbs but I can tell you this that um, the chances are good they're using machines and not hands and that means that they're probably chopping up a lot of the stem and you're buying all of that along with the nice perfumed leaves 
where here I'm rubbing my fingers back and forth I'm trying to get the majority and yes I could be picky and take each stem like I said I did it when I first started uh, but I'm happy with just getting that much and you know if they're gonna cling there must be a reason now taking the elastic off causes a bit of a mess you can see them starting to pop up and, th and stuff but there is a lot more in there I just want to make this so that I want to come back and do it again so I'm gonna call that done and then I'm gonna do this next one just crushing sort of rubbing my thumb and all the leaves are coming off of the stems not all of them but most of them and going into my little container here now once I'm done with this I'm going to move to the next process which I sit down and watch you guys doing your videos with this box in my lap and I go through with my eyes my bare eyes sometimes I'll double up on glasses and put the lights on so I can see really well because what you want to do next is you want to get rid of this you want to get time is woody and when you're not crushing it in a factory and chopping it up and you can't tell anymore you're not aware if you're not going through it by hand um, that there are rather woody stems and so if you don't go through it then you know somebody will be eating their spaghetti sauce and they'll be like what the heck is that well it's probably a little piece of woody stem and the lemon thyme is not I don't know for some reason it's not as stemmy you can see that the regular thyme it has a thinner leaf and it's a little it's not as strong and thick and sturdy I'm not sure what they mixed with lemon thyme to make it have the lemon flavor but whatever it is it makes it so that they um, they don't have as many tiny little teeny pieces so I'll go through and I will try to pick out most of the woody looking stems as best I can and then as I said if you're going to use this in your cooking you should crush it uh, as much as you can as you're putting it into the pot releasing the oils it'll taste stronger than fresh when you do that and it will help to crush any few little fragments that might have gotten past you and so I do tell people if they get this from me to do that this is not like the factory and it's not like fresh okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and clean the rest of this and I'll be back okay so this is what I was able to get and it's not as much as the regular time but that's okay because at the moment my lemon time is full and it needs to be harvested again probably get um, two maybe three more harvests before the winter sets in and the next one's probably going to be three or four times this so um, really there wasn't that much all I could find that I really needed to, or wanted to take out was these little fragments over in the corner and even these don't go to waste once I'm through with them because I bring them out back to the workshop where my husband's uh, wood burning stove is and he uses it as kindling so oh my goodness don't we gardeners and crafters do a great job at using everything and helping as much as we can in, with the environment instead of going out and buying kindling sticks we just use the leftovers of the dried herbs and it's a great fire starter okay so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you try this um, the alternative to this is to leave them on the stems and then of course you can always do this even with this if you're afraid you have the little sticks um, you can put them in the gauze right you you put your herbs in a gauze you tie it off with a piece of regular cotton string and you hang it over the inside of your pot so you can do it with the stems like this and blend it with other things or you can crush it which I really like because then the little green and the few vitamins that are in it and all the oils really get into your food well I have giveaways to do and more projects that I'd like to share with you I hope to see you back soon and I hope you didn't mind stopping off at uh, another part of me which is the gardening part and hanging out for a second and seeing what I'm doing in that area. Till next time everybody, this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.